Coding can be sometimes an exciting activity to do. When you hit that run button and see that your code is working after hours of hard work, that can put a smile on your face. However, coding is not always exciting. What I mean is that you won't always get a great output, or your code won't always work as expected. You need to debug and analyze your code over and over again, and sometimes you don't find the solution. That can be frustrating. Coding allows you to turn your creative ideas to life, like building an app, or a system or algorithm, but coding also requires continuous learning, which for some of us, or maybe all of us, can be also frustrating. In this video, we will go over a few tips on how to stay motivated when learning to code. A project-based learning is when you have in mind a project to build, let us say a mobile app. What you'll do is learn the necessary skills needed for building this mobile app. But a lot of people don't understand what is the true meaning of project-based learning. They quickly jump into building this project without prior knowledge in programming. For example, they go and search for a tutorial video about how to build a calculator app without even knowing the basics of programming. Once they start in this tutorial, they will struggle in understanding the concepts that are being mentioned, like what is a variable or how a loop works. When they won't understand those concepts, they will slowly experience demotivation which will cause them to give up on their dream app and stop learning coding. Project-based learning requires you to have an idea or a project and to work towards this project. You don't have to start by building the project itself. You have to research this topic and figure out what you need to know in order to build this project. For example, you decide to build a mobile app using Flutter. To write Flutter, you are required to know its associated programming language called Dart. Now you know where you are heading. You're not just jumping into different tutorials and languages. Now that you know what you need, it's time to start learning the basics of these languages. You see, I said learning the basics, not search for a Flutter tutorial on how to build a mobile app. At least not yet. Because you need the basics of Dart, in our case, to work with Flutter. No matter what you want to build, using any language, in order to start building the project, start with the basics. Once you have the fundamentals in mind, and you grasp the concept of programming, and you have enough knowledge on this project, now you are able to start your journey. Now go and search for how to build an app in Flutter, because you have the basics, and once you have the basics, you can grow from there. When you enter the field of programming, you got to know that it is a field of continuous learning and a lot of new technologies appear each second. And I know it can be frustrating and demotivating to keep learning coding because of the ability of staying up to date with all of those new changes. You need to know that you are not required to know everything. Even skilled programmers don't even know everything. And sometimes as developers, we decide to start learning everything because we think if we don't know it all, then we are not enough. So because we are learning all of those concepts, our mind will overflow with a lot of information that we don't even need. This factor can demotivate us from continuing to learn code. If you are interested in mobile app development, but you are not interested in backend development, then don't learn it. Instead, sharpen your skills in mobile development. If there is a new framework or technology appeared in the mobile development sector, then go and learn it, because you love this field. But don't get me wrong, you can be a skilled mobile developer and one day wake up and you feel you want to learn front-end development, for example. It is not wrong. You are good at mobile development and now you are going to be good at front-end development because you decided that you want to learn it. So don't get overwhelmed with all of those new technologies and languages. Pick a field and stick with it and sharpen your skills in this field. And if you happen to learn another field because you need it for your job or business or project, then go and learn it. Always think of the outcome as your motivation. Let us say you are a skilled mobile developer and you happen to be in need of learning HTML, CSS and JavaScript to be able to build a website for your software company. But you don't like to build websites, so you will be demotivated in learning the skills needed to build a website. Instead of thinking of the process of learning how to build a website, think of what will happen if you learn how to build a website. Maybe it will allow you to expose your company online and people will be able to search for it. Maybe this will get you more traffic to your app because your website mentions the app. 
Instead of thinking how long it will take you to learn HTML, CSS and JavaScript or how can you host a website or find a domain for it or do all the SEO to expose that website, think of the outcome. Think of the benefits of building that website. What effect it will have on you. Maybe by learning this skill, you'll get a better job with a great salary. Or maybe this will help your project or software company. Sometimes we got to do what we hate because it will take us to what we like. But if it is a skill that will offer you a great opportunity for the long term, then it is best to think for the long term and use your outcome as motivation for you to keep learning this new technology. To sum this video up, always start with the basics. Don't quickly jump into the hard stuff of building for example the next AI chatbot. Start slow, start with the basics and from there you can grow. Also, accept and know that coding is filled with new concepts to learn. Have an interest in a specific field and use your passion for this field as a motivation to keep on learning and upgrading your skills in this field. And of course, encourage yourself to explore new technologies outside that field. At last, think of what you'll get instead of what you need to do to get there. Meaning, instead of focusing on the obstacle you need to face, how about focusing on the outcome that you'll get? Because you'll have more motivation and passion to keep moving forward. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video valuable. Make sure to comment your thoughts below. And I invite you to watch one of these end screens that will appear right now. And I hope to see you in one of these videos.